Hello and welcome to learningengineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. Today we're going to do two things with a Word document. We're going to create a document that automatically shows a form when opened for both a document and a template. And we're going to create a form with a label text box caption and two buttons. One button will close the form and one button will change the caption of the window using whatever text is in the text box. Okay. Now, the first thing you'll know is that Word, notice that I have Word open. It's just a blank document template that I've opened, okay? And the first thing you need to do is make sure you have your developer tab, which I do right here, okay? If you don't see it, just come over here to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and then just make sure Developer is checked. Okay, uncheck it if you don't want it. Check it if you do want to see developer tab. And we do, so check it. Click OK. Should say select OK. Okay, so now that we're in our developer tab, the next thing we need to do is we want to save this. Okay, and we want to save it. And here's the trick we have to either save it as a Word macro enabled document or a Word macro enabled template. Okay, either one of them will work. I'm going to go with Word Macro Enabled Document. Okay, and we're just going to name this Test Mac 1. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to go to where it says Visual Basic. Okay. So oh, this is our visual basic for applications. This is where we're, gonna, where we're gonna create our form. So we right click on this document, we go insert, we click user form, and now we have a user form. We're gonna drag it out a little bit, okay? Over on the left here, you'll see that these are all the properties of our user form. And you can change these here. You can also change them in code if you want. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is change the username of the form to lowercase form one. So whatever naming convention you use, just make sure it's consistent. The next thing we want to do is we want to change the caption of our user form, which is this right here. And we're going to just say learning engineer caption. And let's see, we have, and you can even change the font. If, if you look at this, we can go with, we can go with Terminator and we can change it to 16. And that doesn't really do anything. So I guess you can't do that. So never mind. So you can't change the font of this. Well, that is good to know. Okay, so that's good. You can change the caption though. I know that. So the next thing we're going to do is actually put in a label. And this is, we're just going to say, oh, I changed the font. So now it's changed it automatically here. And I should be able to click in there. Yep, I did. I just clicked in once where the text was. And now it's going to let me edit this. So enter your caption below. Whoops. Now I'm going to put in a text box. Okay, now you'll notice here with this caption, I didn't change the name of it at all, or this label, I'm sorry. I didn't change the name of this because I'm not going to do anything with that. So I don't see the need to have it named something, but lots of people will do that for everything. So that's really up to you. And again, be consistent. So here we have text box. So I would just say text box caption or late. I'm sorry. Yeah. Caption form. Okay. And again, we have, we can do all kinds of fonts with this. So let's just see what font. Yep. It's still Terminator. 
So we could change Terminator to Let's just change it to Verna, Verdana. I like Verdana. Here we are. That looks good. Like it. Okay, and then we want some buttons. So these are our buttons here. So let's make a button over here. Select it once in the middle so that it changes over to the tech. And we'll just call this one close. And I do, I will change this here. So I will change this to button. And then if I want to, I can just copy this one. Whoops. Control C, Control V. And we'll just change this to button change. And select once in there. Now I can also just change it right here as well. And so there's, we've built our form. Okay. Now one of the things you can also look at is the tab order. Okay. And I think that, so here's the tab index. So I select this and it's zero. And then I select the, this one. So this one should be one. Yep. No, wait, where is it? Yep. Tab index is one because it starts with zero. I know it's weird. And this would be tab index two and this would be tab index three. So it would go this one, this one, this one, this one. And that's, I like that. So that's fine. It's always good to have your tab order in a logical way. Okay. And so then the only thing we really need to do is to code it. And so we just go to our buttons because this is what they're going to do. They're going to click on this, right? So if we double click on it, it takes us to our. And for this, all we need is to remember our form name, which I believe is form one. And all you have to do is go form one dot hide. And as you can see, it brings up a list of stuff you can do. And that's it for that. That will close our form. Okay, it's just the name of the form, dot hide. To show the form, it's form1.show. And you'll see that next. Or no, you won't see that yet. I will show you that shortly though. So then we just come back to our form after we've saved that, we come over to change, okay. Now, you, it still shows us our other code, so we can just say, so now what we want to do is, oops, I should check. So, yeah, that is it, form one, caption, caption, equals, and then we have to tell it to take whatever text is in the text box. So I have to go back to my form and remember the name of my text box. Here we go. Text box caption form. Now, if I want to, I can just come down here and double click it, and highlight it and go control C and then come back. Equals V dot text. And there it is. Now we have to test this because I'm not, I'm not sure if this is going to work, if that will work. I've, I've generally done it different ways. Let's go back to our form. Oops. And run it. Generally make, oops, I'm sorry. I just like to save it a lot. So let's run it. All right. Let's change our text, change text. Click change. And you can see the text changed there. So it worked. We can close it. So this actually worked. I I have to be honest. I was a little surprised. Sometimes you have to give a you have to use variables, like with the bookmarks. You just can't do this thing. You have to actually use variables with bookmarks. So that's why I didn't know if it would work or not. But it did, and that's great because then you don't have to do all of the variable stuff, and that's a little more complicated. So that's all we had to do.
to change that caption. And so you can use forms like this to do all kinds of stuff. And of course, the next time we do this, we will be looking at how to add stuff into a document. So the next thing we need to do is we need to actually come up to where it says this document. And then we need to view code. Okay. And so as you can see, we have a general here, but we want to go to where it says document. So here we have document new. So this is where we would type in our form one dot show. Okay. And then this would show the form. If we open this up as a new document, we can also come over here and we can just say where it says open. And we can just do the same thing. Okay, so now I can save that. Okay, I can close this. I can save this. I can close it. Oops, close it. And let's go open it up. Okay, so here it is on the desktop. This is our file. So let's double click it and open it. And when it does this, it's going to say security warning macros have been disabled. Enable content. It does this automatically. And there, there's a reason for that. A long, long time ago, they didn't do this. And somebody sent out a lot of emails. There was a huge security problem. So that's why this is like this, and this will always be like this. Otherwise, if you open a document, it could automatically run stuff on your computer, and that's why they don't want you doing that. So we're gonna click Enable Content. And as you can see, we can enter our caption text below. So let's change this to Engineer of Learning Caption. And then we can click Change, and you can see it changed it right there. We can change this to just gobbledygook if we wanted to. There it is. Click this to close it. And that's it. As you can see, it worked. Now, if we want to know how to save this to a template, what we would have to do is we would have to go save and save as. Okay. We're also going to change this to browse. And we just want to go to our desktop. Okay. And then we want to change it to a macro enabled template. Okay. And then you can see it's going to save it to my OneDrive documents, custom office templates. Okay. And so you can save it here. And so now if we were to go new and personal, there's our custom office template right there. So if we did this, it would do this. And as you can see, it didn't even ask us to, for the macro thing because we've already, it's already open, that's why. But as you can see, it's, it's gonna work. So there we go. So I showed you how to do both a template and a regular document. And you can see how it kind of automatically helps you out when you save it as a template. It saves it to a template location. It automatically puts it in your form list. So for example, let's do this again. I'll show you this again. If I just come down and open up Word, okay? And as you can see, I'm under new and it's the second one right here in the list. So since I've used it already, it's already there, okay? And of course you can do more templates, but yeah, it'll, it'll just show up right there. So if I click on it, of course, you have to enable it. Once you enable it the first time, and if you stay in the document, you don't have to keep doing that. As you can see, it changed it. And then let's close it. And that's it. We're done. So good job.